Manus Chain, alongside with Alexander Fleming, were the men who together gained the Nobel Prize for Medicine as a result in their help for developing the life-saving drug penicillin. Fleming re received most of the credit for discovering the drug, but it was actually Florian Chain that worked out how to make it safe for use and how to mass produce it. Following World War I, Fleming searched for antibacterial agents after witnessing countless deaths from infected wounds. Soldiers had died from infections like sepsis and gangrene, but shockingly, as he went on to prove that most of the infected had actually died from poisoning from the antiseptic that was being given to them. So, just after the war, Fleming set out to find a cure. And he did. In 1921, he found an enzyme called lysosomy, an enzyme with an antibacterial effect. He then went on to discover a mould from the penicillin genus, which killed a number of disease-killing bacteria, including those that causes diseases such as pneumonia and diphtheria. He published his findings in the British Journal of Pathology, but little attention was paid to the article at first. The difficulties he found were in trying to cultivate the penicillin and how to isolate the antibiotic agent. This is where Florian Chain come in. The US and UK government give funding for them to research the drug further and how to mass produce it. Pearl Harbor had been bombed by the Japanese and America then joined World War II and they knew that penicillin would allow sick or wounded soldiers a chance of recovery. Ernest Chain, a German Jew, escaped from Berlin and began testing the drug on mice. By 1941, he began testing on Albert Alexander, who had a severe facial infection. Within one day of the treatment, he began to recover, but sadly, they did not have enough to carry on treating him, and he died. Due to this, they began testing on children who required smaller quantities. <music> Meanwhile, Flory was investigating the large-scale production of the mould and an effective method of extracting the active ingredient. <music> it soon became clear that this particular strain of penicillin did not yet yield enough of the drug. Eventually, in 1943, a lab worker called Mary Hunt discovered a new strain growing on a cantaloupe melon in her own fridge. It was infected with penicillin chrysogenium, which produced 200 times more penicillin than Fleming's original discovery. By mutating this gene with x-rays, they eventually produced a strain which produced a thousand times more. By the end of the war, US companies were making 65 million units of the drug each month. All three men were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1945. It's difficult to know if it enabled the Allies to win the war, but their discoveries are estimated to have saved over 82 million lives.